Hello, good evening everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, last time I were here, we were, I was with you. Uh, we went around and helped out our fellow compadres and fought two dragons. <laughs> and unfortunately, Justine seems to be having a little trouble with assassins and nobles and we're just mixed up in the middle. Um, not Justine, Josephine. I don't know why I keep calling her Justine. My name is Josephine. <laughs> if I keep calling her Justine, just ignore me. So Justine is the, the male version of Josephine. Just in case anybody doesn't know that. <laughs> At least I think it is. It's because it sounds like a man's name. Anyway, uh, before we had uh, up anyway, there's a couple of things I w want to tell you. First of all, the two dragons which I killed, which are the level 13 and the level 12 dragon. There's one more that is a level 14 dragon that I, I'm most likely will be able to kill now. It's in the Western Approach. Uh, but other than that, all the rest of the high dragons are level 19 to level 23. At least that's here in the main part. But in the DLC, the Jaws of Hecon, there's another dragon in that one too, which we had to fight. But that one is a level 25 to a level 25, level 26 dragon. So I won't be able to fight and kill any more dragons for quite some time. I mean, I could probably kill the one in the Western Approach with no difficulty. It's fine because it's level 14. But after that, I won't be able to fight and kill another dragon for some time. Anyway. Now, before I head off, to uh, the Empress Bulan, which is our next location, where it's frosting cold. Uh, I'm going to do, deal with the debate when it comes to Josephine. Now, I could either find a sponsor for uh, the, the, apparently they're opposing no house. Or to turn this process right here, it takes a while. It takes some steps, uh, several steps. And in the meantime, <laughs> these, uh, what do they call themselves, a uh, house of, a house of re re repose, repose, uh, ends up attacking Josephine. But luckily, uh, those people, uh, lucky Lily's people were watching Josephine. 24-7, so the assassin fails in the attempt to try to kill her. Um, but to be honest, they obviously died out of nobility for a reason. Uh, they were no longer pronounced as nobles for a good reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I, I don't feel like doing that. Why should I Make somebody noble that I was obviously kicked out of nobility for a reason. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. <laughs> they obviously were not worthy of their nobility. That's why they were kicked out. Anyway, we're going to head off to where it's nice and cold and snowy. Well, I like the snow, but I still really like the cold. My nose agrees too. <laughs> anyway, let's head, let's go. Uh, well, with me, I'm going to bring a Varric, because it's actually been some time since I last had him on my team. Uh... No, not her. 
Dorian, because I've actually never, I haven't had a team Barak and Dorian together. And I'm going to need a warrior to come with me. Oh, uh, let's go with Iron Bow. There's got to be a lot of stuff to kill, so I think I'll be happy. Besides, after what happened with the, uh, the whole thing with, <laughs> um, the Dreadnought and all that stuff, I'm just sure he would want something to kill to take his uh, stress out on. Also find uh, one of uh, Cassandra's uh, hits here as well. The people that she wants us to eliminate. It's uh, right there. And as you see, the logging stand. Logging stand. Which is those? Those are on the map now because I got that. That perk. Yeah. Now I don't have to go looking for them. They're just, they're just on the map. Country Burns, they're dead, right? I'll have to get a fire going in this weather. Yeah, how dare you drop your mama's ring.
Um, this is, did he say Desire Demon or Despair Demon? I didn't catch which one. If we said Desire Demon, it doesn't make any sense because all Desire Demons are women. Well, they look like women. I hope he said despair demon because the last time I checked, a desire demon is a female. They've always been female. There have never been any male de desire demons. But they, they, they at least look female because they, they, they got, you know, they got boobies. guys can get them too. Uh, the hormones are messed up. Yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm beginning to think that he's just it's a despair demon, not, not desire. And all guts. Combat glitched. <laughs> and that's what I call it when they, they're in combat, but yet they're not moving and not doing anything. I call it a combat glitch. Let's go through that video again, figure out what exactly what he said. The 
sometimes these Elysians have strong accents. <laughs> Boy, you do it really look silly with that new mask on. I mean, it actually fits him because he's called Iron Bull, but <laughs> still, it looks silly. another rift over here so not, it's not on the map yet but it's there it's coming right demon Demon Who's next? on your boots. Uh, don't take it so seriously. It's just messing with it. You guys, you don't need Cassandra in order to do this, okay? You don't need her. One less problem for Cassandra to worry about. Okay, you don't need to bring her with you to, uh, in order to complete this quest. It's just that the reason why it didn't work in the plans is because I had to kill the one in the Hitlerlands first. You had to kill them in a certain order. The 
The one in the head of the man showed up first because we went there first. And you had to kill that guy. And then the one in the planes. And then the one here. It, it may be listed differently on the actual quest itself, but it, it depends on which place you go to first. And we went to Hitherlands first, so we had to kill the one there, and then the one in the planes. That's why it didn't work. It has nothing to do with the fact that Cassandra had to be with you. She requests that you take her with her, uh, take her with you when you do it, because she wants to be there, but you don't have to bring her. For it to count. And I request that we go back to camp for, and replenish my supplies. <laughs> Uh, no. I don't have time. Yes. Now, I'm see if I can ask that guy again about the demon. I, I want to make sure he said despair or desire. I'm not so sure which one he said. I think he said despair. Uh, yeah, can I ask you about the demon again? I need to know more about him, sir. A desire to know. More cunning than anything I have encountered. And I have played the game. Him, Shale, has roamed the land for some time. Why, perhaps he has gained the cooperation of... Okay, he, he said desire. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I just want to make sure I heard that right. Now there are other camps in this in this area. The camp they claim. So this one's a little bit different. In order to acquire other camps, you have to wipe out the Red Templars camps. You're basically taking them over. Uh, by the way, there's also uh, shards at this location. There are no constellations here, but there are shards. Oh, 
oh, by the way, another thing I should uh, let you guys know before the game informs us of this. Apparently, if you make a uh, Iron Bull Tower Shock during that mission, like I did, apparently Iron Bull and Dorian end up hooking up. <laughs> I may have mentioned that before, but uh, I was bringing it up again. But yeah, if you don't romance Iron Bull when he becomes Tower Shock, he ends up romancing uh, with Dorian. <laughs> Even though Canaries and, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, the events, as he calls them, don't get along. I did mention before that Iron Bull does swing both ways. He likes both guys and girls, but of any race. I just find it ironic. That's all. Oh, by the way, uh, these statues of the, the Dread Wolf, apparently I mistaken his name. I thought his name was Falcon, but actually his name is Finn. Finn something. F-E-N, -F and then uh, an abbreviation, and then the, something behind it. I don't know the actual, the full name, but uh, yeah. This first part of the name is actually Finn. Not Falcon. <laughs> that was my fault. I, I I thought that that was actually his actual name. I thought his name was Falcon, but no, it's Finn. F E N. But I like I said, I'm not very good at pronouncing Elven names, so I'm just gonna stick with the Dread Wolf. got there. Austin Ram. Oh, I actually looked up that type of ram. It's actually based on a real animal. There's actually a real animal called the Austin Ram in real life. I Siri. <laughs> she told me about it. Anyway, let's take over this red Templar. I know. Get out of my face. Oh, not red, not hideout camp. It's red temper camp. But Decent spot to camp. Yes, it is. It's, we're taking over the red. I didn't mean to say hideout. I meant to say camp. The red Templar camp. We're gonna take it for. Um, just don't touch the red uh, Blirium. <laughs> okay, don't touch it. Just don't go near it. <laughs> Not even out of curiosity.
<sighs> My shoulder's been acting up today. As it stays, some, sometimes my shoulder's fine, but other days look like days like this where it just in a lot of pain. Considering uh, it's Varric's personal experience with Red Larium, I can imagine that he would be. 